Hey guys, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Thanks for tuning back in. I'm uh, here with a comment from Steven. He said that he would like to be able to click a button or his user click a button, they type a number in, and then when they click the OK button, that number populates a certain cell. And then maybe let's say they click the button again. So let's say they typed in 10, and 10 is now in the cell. So let's just, for simplicity's sake, let's say it was uh, A2 here. And in A1 is just the, the title, I don't know, uh, some some header title. But anyway, they click on the button, it pops up, and they, they type in the number 10. And they hit OK. And so then 10 pops in that cell right here. And we're going to go ahead and make that yellow. So 10 pops in there. Then they click the button, and they type in 11. And they hit OK. And then this same cell then becomes 10 plus 11, well that's 21. And so on. So he wants it to be where they can update uh, a certain cell or, number, or different cells on a given row. And we'll show you how to do that. And it's very simple. First of all, let me zoom in a whole bunch because I'm sure uh, if you're using a mobile device you won't be able to see it otherwise. Let's go ahead and insert that button we were talking about. Let's go to the developer tab and we're going to click on insert and we're going to go to an ActiveX button, not a form control button. So let's just put this button right about here and see what it does. Let's right click and go to properties because I don't want it to say command button. Under the caption I'd like for it to say click to add or, or just add. Let's just say add. Hit enter <clears throat> and that's good enough for now. Now because it's an ActiveX control, we can actually double click on it and immediately start uh, coding on that button. So let's open up a dialog box uh, called an input box. <clears throat> and we don't necessarily have to give this command button a name, so this is fine. We're going to have an input box uh, bring a value that the user types into a variable. So uh, let's go ahead and say let's give it the variable my var just so we can get something out there my var equals input box and when you put your parentheses it gives you the prompt so the first prompt is going to be enter your number end quote and i don't need to worry about a title or anything but if you wanted to you could put a comma and now we need a title so enter num or something shorter and that's all i want to put in in uh, parentheses so as soon as they've entered in something into that, I'll show you in a second, the, the variable called myVar that we've just created out of thin air is now going to contain the number 10 if that's what they clicked OK on. And it'll be contained in here. So let's just show you that. Let's take it off of design mode, again from the developer tab. And so let's just say this was the number 0 here. I'm going to click add button. And we see in the debug mode that that's going to bring up an input box. So I'm going to hit F8 and it says enter your number. Let's type 10 and click OK. So now if you hover over my var you see that it has the value of 10 or actually because it's a input box it actually has a text string value of 10 but we can easily convert that into a number format if we need to. So we've got it trapped into this variable that we can do whatever we want behind the scenes in the code so what we'd like to do now is just plop that into cell A2 and then we should be done. So let's say the range of A2, you've got to put range things in quotes and of course in the parentheses for the range object, but range of A2 equals my var because that's what we've done here. Now you may see that it becomes a text object, so we might want to convert that, but let's just take that right now. Range A2 is currently 0 if I hit F8 to debug through this line see what happens. Range A2 is 10. It went ahead and converted it to a value. You can see that up here my var equals 10 with the quotes there. But if you hover over range A2 it's gone ahead and kind of assumed we wanted the number 10. If we wanted a text version we could add uh, ampersand and then a double quotes there. Um, or various other ways. But anyway that's pretty much it. It adds that. But do we really want to only add that and not what the current value is? Not necessarily because let me show you what would happen if I, if that's all that would happen. Okay? So let's say um, I want to add 100. Instead of saying 100 plus 10, the current value, it would just say this is 100 so far. So that's where we're at right now. So I'll put it back to 10 and hit enter. Now let's go back to Alt F11. And let's say instead of A2 equals 
my var alone, let's say range a2 equals my var plus whatever's in range a2. I just pasted it. And so now we'll have 10 plus 100 right there. And that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and test out our button after, oh, I don't want to save yet after all. Uh, let's uh, click this and I'm going to say 11 and this should be 21 when I hit enter on my keyboard. So now it's 21. So now we click it again. Let's do 3000. Should be 3021. And it sure is. So that's pretty much how to do that. Let me just double click the comment here that Stephen left me. <coughs> um, it's looking like that's kind of what uh, Stephen wanted there. So I'm going to say we're done and I'm going to go ahead and add 5000 we'll have 8021. If you'd like to download this workbook, please go ahead and download it in the uh, Dropbox uh, link that is provided in the video. I'm going to go ahead and name this one Add to Current, oops, add to current Row uh, repeatedly. So look for that in my Excel VBA is fun. Uh, Let's see, here's my shared workbooks folder. So I'll put this right here and I'll save it as a macro enabled workbook. So just look for the one called Add to Current Row repeatedly, and you'll be able to find that in the Excel VBA is Fun shared workbooks folder that is in my video description right now. So uh, again, I thank you for watching and God bless. And don't forget to check out my uh, new uh, course the ultimate excel programmer course if you want to learn all the tips and, and techniques that i share on youtube as well as other premium content that i've uh, worked really hard on this course is actually nine plus hours right now it's nine hours and eighteen minutes it's going to keep growing because there's going to be questions and i'm going to do answers on that course so uh, it's a very complete system from a to z if you want to learn how to be an excel programmer uh, give it a try. I do have a special promo code going on this Thanksgiving season. It is Thanksgiving 75. So um, I'll type that out here. That's Thanksgiving 75. And that is available. Uh, that'll be in the video description, the coupon code there, as well as on your screen. You can click on that right there. And uh, also the barcode uh, the course that I have using barcodes with Excel VBA and automation techniques is also available for 75% off this holiday season. So if you want to click on that link, you can get that. If you have not already gotten my free ebook, the uh, Essential Excel VBA Snippets, that is also for Excel programmers and VBA uh, uh, enthusiasts. So that you can actually get um, at my website, ExcelVBAIsFun.com, for $7, or you can get it for free if you decide to sign up for my e-newsletter, which is free to sign up, just so you can get the updates, and you can get a that e-book as a special reward uh, for signing up. So anyway, uh, this is Dan Strong signing out. Thanks a lot, and God bless.